Hello lovelies, this is the Russian chain stitch. I've already done a video of this, but they were individual stitches. This time, these stitches are all linked together. Bring your needle up through your fabric, and we're going to make a lazy daisy, which means going back down through the fabric, leave a loop, we need this loop, and then bring our needle up through the fabric above it, coming up through this loop. Bring that through gently, don't pull it too tight or it will just look like two straight lines. I'm going to anchor it in place with a teeny tiny stitch just at the top. And we're going to do another two lazy daisy stitches on either side and they'll form like a little opening flower. Looks very pretty, you could leave it at that really. So we do these two lazy daisies on either side. Always helps to keep the loop, you can hold that in place with your finger until you bring your needle through anchor it in place with a teeny tiny stitch just like before and when you've done three of these we will then work our way downwards in a nice vertical line if you want to be sure of getting in a really straight line draw three parallel lines as a guide for yourself okay so once we've done these three lazy daisy stitches we're going to bring our needle up through the fabric a stitch length away underneath so right below that middle lazy daisy and we're going to use our needle eye first to go under all three of these stitches do not push the needle needles are sharp and pointy and they will hurt you pull the needle through by the eye pull that gently through and we're going back down into the fabric at the base of that lazy daisy that chain stitch this bit's a bit tricky because you want to come up through the fabric at the base. Do not go back through the stitch hole that you just went through or this will happen. See, it will come back out, but don't worry about it. Easily fixed. Go down through the fabric and go as close as you possibly can to the base of that middle chain stitch. We're going to do another lazy daisy. We're going to form this loop. Let's just stretch that out a little. Um, we're going to form that loop, then we're going to bring our needle up through our fabric directly below the lazy daisy stitch on the right. We're going to anchor this in place and then we're going to go back to the base of that second chain stitch there. Bring our needle up through our fabric and then back down through the fabric. Bring our needle up through that loop underneath that lazy daisy on the left and then anchor that one in place. So a couple of points to remember, don't ever pull those lazy daisies too tight, it will just look like straight lines instead of petals or leaves. And when you are threading through those stitches, use the eye of the needle and pull by the eye of the needle, don't push it. Uh, by using the eye of the needle, you're preventing the pointy bit of the needle from sort of dragging at the threads that you're trying to go underneath as smooth as possible. So this is your Russian chain stitch all linked together. And I think it looks really sweet and it'll go great if you're doing a garden theme or a floral or a botanical theme for your embroidery. Happy stitching.